Well, it's been two weeks after the attack on the Abuja Kaduna bound train by bandits at Duse Forest in Chukum, local government area of Kaduna State. The parents and relatives of the victims are calling on the government at all levels to open channels of communication for the safe release of their family members. The families gave 72 hour ultimatum to the government to rescue the abducted victims unhurt or take necessary action to dialogue with bandits for their release. Habila Durofai filed in this report as presented in our studio. It's been 15 days of agony, trauma and sleepless nights for the parents and families of the victims of the Kaduna Abuja train attack. Eight people were killed, 26 injured and scores of passengers have been missing. Others are still in the hands of their captors. Two weeks after the victims went missing, families are hoping for their freedom from captivity. One of the parents of the abducted victims, Dr. Abdul Fatai Jumo, said the recent viral video released by the bandits made very clear their willingness to dialogue with the government, which is not out of place since the government seemed incapacitated to protect its citizens. He said the abductors are yet to contact families for ransom and agreed to issue a 72-hour ultimatum to the federal government. Even if it is one letter that is involved, the Nigerian government, we believe, should do all it is possible within our powers. And this is, very, it is something that is not beyond government to do. We are appealing to them to come out, open channels of communications with them, and get our loved ones out as quickly as possible. So we are appealing to government to do all that is necessary to get our people out. We have decided as a collective that we are giving government 72 hours, 72 hours to do all that is necessary to bring out our loved ones. He stated that the government owes the people the responsibility of ensuring their safety at all times, stressing that authorities have continued to be non-challenged and insensitive to securing the release of the victims, urging them to open channel of communication with them. If they call us, we'll talk. We'll talk. What we want is we want our loved ones to be out. If they call us, we'll talk with them. But we expect that government should take this on because government is in charge of security of our citizens. And this is not beyond the capacity of what government can do. They can do it, they can, they can enter into negotiations or discussions with them and get our people out. We are expecting that government should open channels of communications with them. Let them just listen to them first. They, let them listen to them and hear what they want from them. Within our powers, whatever it takes to secure and bring back our family members. She has been abducted with the Boko Haram or by the Boko Haram uh, group because uh, she called or they let her call just once to say that she is okay but definitely she is with them and since then we have not heard anything. We expected that the government would uh, come communicate or contact the families to let us know at least allay our fears that something is being done about uh, this happening or this incident but nothing has been heard. So we don't know anything, nobody contacted us, it's just silence, we don't know what is happening. Please, please, we are pleading with the government. We are helpless here. We don't know where to go. The government knows everything. We are pleading with the government. President Muhammad Buhari, please come to our aid. Please, we are begging. This is barely 15 days. Special prayers were offered by the families and friends of the victims to seek divine help for safe release of the abducted victims. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.